The first thing we need to do in Cubase after installation is set up the audio and MIDI functionality. This can be done under the Devices menu and then pick Device Setup. To the left, you can see the devices that are in Cubase. For this setup chapter, we are only concerned with this one, MIDI. Under MIDI, we have MIDI Port Setup. You can see all the MIDI ports attached to your computer. The ins and outs are color coded so that you can recognize them more easily. Choose the ones you wish to use by selecting them in the visible column. When you get rid of the X, it makes the MIDI port invisible within Cubase. You might want this because there could be a lot of MIDI ports on your computer, but you are only using a couple of them, and therefore you only want to see a couple of them. Setting a MIDI port to invisible doesn't mean the port is disabled, only invisible. If I set this port to invisible, but turn on the in all MIDI inputs, which I'll discuss in a second, the MIDI port will still work. We just won't see it in the list of available inputs. The port system name is the name the computer gives the MIDI port. Show as is where you can rename the port to anything you like. This device's name is too long, so let's rename it. Feel free to rename your other devices to names you are more likely to recognize. Since this keyboard is just a controller keyboard with no sounds, we don't need Cubase to show it as an output. On the right here, we have In All MIDI Inputs. Instead of choosing MIDI input for all your MIDI tracks, you could have all MIDI inputs chosen as your MIDI input. This makes things quicker, especially if you have a lot of different inputs and you want any one of them to be able to send MIDI data to your MIDI track. You have a choice whether a certain input will be in the All MIDI Inputs list. This is good if there is a MIDI input you are using that only receives MIDI clock or remote controller information. In that case, you won't want to have these in your All MIDI Inputs. Generally, you'll just leave your MIDI input on a track set to All MIDI Inputs saving you time and keeping the musical flow moving. The state column lets you know if the ins and outs are being used or not in the current Cubase project. If you're on the PC, you can select Use System Timestamp for Windows MIDI inputs here. This allows for better MIDI precision. The reset button returns all the MIDI ports to their default names and makes them all visible. And that's it for MIDI setup. If you are used to earlier versions of Cubase, you'll notice that in Cubase 5, things have been streamlined and simplified. Move on to the next chapter to set up your audio hardware.